What's up everyone, Dr. D here, and in this video we are doing a breakdown of Grand Chariot Difficult on singles. This was requested by Shadow Devils Avenged, and in this request he's asking me to focus on the MA especially when it comes to the 16th notes appearing in the song. Now I searched the net far and wide and the best difficult <laughs> chart that I could find was uh, this video uploaded by Tank Milk. Nice username. And uh, this was uploaded some time ago on DDR Ace, but we can definitely use it to specifically address uh, the difficult chart. But since he is focusing on the 16th notes, we're also going to be looking at just the expert chart, since uh, the 16th note beats are basically the same. Alright, with that, let's just uh, jump right into the song. And uh, I know when it's going to actually start the 16th notes, and then we'll go over there. So until then, yeah, like for example, the the ex expert would have sixteenths there. I'm not even sure if the difficult does. Yeah, it doesn't even have sixteenths there. So let's just uh, go here. Fun fact: This is an incredibly hard song to marvelous attack. I don't have an MF seed. Stepwise, it's not that difficult, and you would assume that I have it MFC. No, I don't. I don't. I think only one or two people have it. It's incredibly difficult. So these are basic CC. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. That gallop's annoying. It really throws off the beat. I think there's that's uh, the first sixteenth in the in the difficult chart. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. Okay, but this is I'm pretty sure this is the part that they want me to focus on. Alright, so I want you to really listen to the assist tick. I'm going to play out this section. Alright, so that was that section. Now that I'm really taking a hard look at it, it is quite different in the difficult. Now I remember. So this section, we're going to play it out. It's a lot harder to hear the music, but let's play it out. Try to think about what the best way to describe it. Dun, 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 dun. Bum. Okay, it starts here, that's why. Bum 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 Okay, so how can we uh, better time these? Now, some of these are a little bit trickier than others. I need to find the equivalent of this one. Alright, we're going to practice here because I know that this part is the same as difficult. Okay, so... So I can start off by giving you your, it's kind of funny, we're 300 steps in and I feel like I'm giving the first tip. Okay. Starting here, the secret to finishing up this, it feels unfinished. When you do the one, two, three, when you do one, mm, mm, right, and then we start later, it feels very strange. And that's because we're ending on eighth note timing here. So my first tip, and we're going to be using it a lot through the difficult and expert chart, is we're going to add an extra helper step at the end. So when you finish on the left blue, you're going to add an extra red 
left right here. So instead of doing dun 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 dun, we're going to do dun 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 dun. So bum 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 bum. Let me uh, try to tap it out. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. You can do it again there. But now these, you can't do it. So, mm, I really wish that there was like a, aha, I know exactly what you need to do to do this. But unfortunately, this is definitely a kind of technique that it just takes practice to do it. The first tip I will say is, instead of looking at it like this, let's look at it like this. And what do I mean? We need to space it out more. The more space you can give between these, because since these are not, you know, technical patterns per se, sometimes there's double steps, but besides that, we want to definitely get inside the window more. And the best way to get inside the window is to spread it out. So spread it out and go by it. And then the next tip, this is going to kind of sound crazy, but it goes to the music. <laughs> All right, so the you got to know the music. If I just gave you this kind of pattern and there was no music to it, yeah, it would be pretty hard. You wouldn't be able to keep a beat. But by knowing the music, if you know the music, go to the music. <laughs> so you have to know the music and you want to... I think it's probably the coloring that's mostly screwing up. Here's, a, here's some advice. Next time you play it, try turning off uh, rainbow or let's say vivid or even note try using it on flat play the song on flat and just visually play it visually play it while listening to the music if you find that you'll do better in this section and I have a feeling you will then you just discovered the problem it's a mental problem you're having a block you're having a mental block here so spread it out definitely take a look at using a different note skin see if it makes a difference and then when you unblock your mind you can go back to using the note skin that you would like to and then you'll figure out you know by trying something different you can figure out where you're screwing up if you find out that you use a different note skin and you're still screwing up then you know that that's not the issue so spread out as much as you can and try using a different note skin to see what the real problem is. Yeah, that one's a little bit trickier because like in general this is just like an odd thing to have in music. Not a lot of music have this. Looking at it, it looks like a mind fuck. You know, like this is like what is this, you know? Like this looks like it's like a 16th note stream, but it's not. So it just it's it doesn't make sense. Another way that we can kind of think of it, and I hope someone really smart in the live chat can help me out. This, all of these are evenly spaced. So one, two, three, four, five. All these five are evenly spaced apart. So it, well, at least they are now. In the older mixes, it wasn't quite like that. <laughs> this is, this technically could be eighth notes. This could be a red, blue, red, blue, red. It could be eighth notes at a different BPM. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'm hoping someone really smart in the chat can tell me what exactly that real BPM would be. Uh, what What's the real BPM of this song? That's not the real song. I think you have to go to, uh, so 191, half of 191, oh boy, you're putting me on the spot, it's like 95.5, right? So, I think it's the same, and then what's half of 91.5? It's like 45 plus 91, like the real BP, the real speed of that is around like 130-ish, it's like one, so multiply that by well, can you give it to me? So multiply it by 1.5. So I think you have to do half of the speed and then multiply it by 1.25, right? Oh boy. You're putting me out. It's easier for me to do uh, 24th notes and 12th notes, but these are 16th notes, so it's... Uh, I'm looking for it. Hold on, let me get a calculator here. So... Make 
Okay, I think it's 119 or 120 BPM. If it's 96, it should be... If the display BPM is wrong, if it's really 192, then the true BPM of that section should be 120. Yes. So these notes are blue notes at 120. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm just trying to make you mentally think of it in a different way. So think about put your faith in me. Bum 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 dun 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 dun. Right? So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? It's the same BPM. When you have that kind of stream, it's the same. So I guess that's a, a good segue to to actually make this go to a different tangent. Whenever you're thinking about 12th notes, you have to think about what's a quarter of the BPM, or is it the half of the BPM? Okay, like for example, if you had 12th notes in a 200 BPM song, what is that? What is the real BPM of that? Well, the real BPM of that would be 150. A 12th note in in a 200 BPM song would be the same as doing uh, 150 BPM eighth notes. So eighth notes at 150 are the same as 12th notes at 200. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong. I am definitely sleep deprived and I might be wrong. So that's one way you can uh, uh, you know, break down songs. If you're like are wondering about like, oh this feels really weird and there's 12th notes and I'm confused, do the math. Make it relatable to something that you know. So what I try to do is make this song relatable to a 120 BPM song, maybe like Dance Floor. No one plays that, but something else that's 120 BPM, it's the same thing. So think about that, it should help you out. Alright, nothing special here. Yep. And the hard thing is, and this is a, this is what I always call a transition. So when we were hitting so this is hitting at 192, but then this is going straight into a 120. I, I established that these are like 128th notes, right? But then we're going immediately back to 192 for just three steps, and then finishing with the 16th note. This is transitioning. Transitioning is what I call whenever you're going from a different tempo or beat and going to a new one. So transitioning can be hard, but the best way that I transition is to really emphasize the, f the step that I'm transitioning as. So, so this one, I would hit it harder and go bum 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 bum. And then this one, I would hit it harder, bum bum bum. And then I'd hit this one hard too because this is transitioning back. So that's one way that I do for uh, transitioning. And that part is just sucky. That just sucks. There's there's no way around it. That just sucks. 120, 120, 190. Well, ball parking it, but you get it. I would definitely add a helper step there for an eight throw. This is really a nasty 13. Oh, 518 steps? Like, Jesus Christ. This is one of the hardest 13s to P MFC, PFC, you name it. Okay. Uh, if uh, Devil's Lynn Avenge, if you're still in the chat, do you think my breakdown was sufficient enough? Is this helpful? Do you have any more questions before we end it? Uh, since the difficult's a little bit different there, I would definitely put this in the middle of a triplet. One, two, three. I would not try to go for it. So, whenever I finish like that kind of thing, uh, well, let me back it up a little bit. So I would hit that, and I'd probably hit down again right here, and this would go down, down, down. Was right, down, down, left, down. And then that's normal, and then down, down, right, down. And then you can finish it up, and then down, down, up, down. Left, left, down, left. Left, left, right, left. So I would be doing that. 
All right, I hope that helps. So if you were having trouble with the eighth notes, uh, definitely put those in the middle of a triplet. Do we even call them triplets if it's just blue and red? I think that we have to have like a console, console, a council. We need to have a council of like the DDR elders. We have to gather around a round table and we have to like write up the the terminology of DDR that we can all universally use and everyone knows what it would mean because like we definitely need some help because uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's going to wrap it up for uh, Shadow Devils Avenged. Uh, request of Grand Chariot Difficult slash Expert. I hope that they were helpful. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pie Guy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you like what I do and want to be notified whenever I upload or go live, subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you really love me, Consider pledging on Patreon to enjoy exclusive benefits. Lastly, keep the DDR discussion going by joining my Discord community, link below. Thanks again, and peace.